Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cookie and Pink Boots. Now, we all know by now I love my rice dishes from paella to jambalaya all the way to fried rice. And while making jambalaya, I decided, hmm, let's twist it up a bit. And if you're subscribed to my channel, you already know that's what I do. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so so you can be notified each time I put on my pink boots and get cooking. And by the way, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button while you're at it. Thank you. Now, I call this dish my twisted taco jambalaya. Bet you're wondering why. Well, I'm about to show you, and believe me when I say a bite of this will blow your mind. Now, starting off with about a pound of chuck roast, fully thawed and placed into a slow cooker with a teaspoon of salt, black pepper, onion, and garlic powder, and a cup and a half of beef broth. And allow that to cook on high for about three to four hours or until fall apart tender. Now, for my veggies, I have about a quarter of a medium-sized cabbage, enough to make two cups chopped, half of a large celery, a half of a green and red bell pepper, one small yellow onion, five cloves of garlic, and one green onion. Now, this dish serves about four to six people. Now, here I'm starting off with cutting my cabbage into little squares, about an inch or two, then slicing my celery into thin strips then dicing them and doing the same with the rest of my veggies. Now for my bell peppers, here I'm only using the end caps, which are the tops and bottoms, and I will be storing the rest for later use. But it's totally up to you if you prefer to use more or less. Remember, it's all about how you like it. Now, I will be dicing the entire small yellow onion and chopping all five cloves of garlic. Now today, I will be using a more budget-friendly andouille sausage, which I must say is pretty good. Now, if you can afford all the fancy stuff, more power to you. But if you can turn the not-so-fancy stuff into an awesome meal, that's when you know you got pretty good skills. Which, by the way, is totally my personal opinion. All right, slicing down about half the sausage, about a quarter of an inch thick. And now we're set with our two cups of cabbage, our chopped onions, celery, red and green bell peppers, garlic and green onions. Now be sure to have about three to four cups of cooked rice ready to go. And I almost forgot a package of taco seasoning. Now you can easily make your own, but why when you can just tear this open for about a buck? Now let's get cooking, shall we? Here I am adding about three tablespoons of EVOO to my cast iron pan but you can use just about any pan and heating that up with my heat set to medium then adding in my onions celery and bell peppers being sure not to put in the garlic and green onions just yet now i'm just sauteing that for about two to three minutes seasoning with only a half a teaspoon each of salt black pepper and tony's creole seasoning and do not add any additional salt till the very end. Now, continuing to saute my veggies till they become a bit tender and my onions translucent. Then adding in my garlic, cooking that in for about a minute before creating a large well right in the middle to add in a bit more oil and my sausages, where I'm going to single layer them to develop a nice dark golden char, then flipping and doing the same on the other side. Then combining it all together and time for our big boy that's been tenderizing in that slow cooker. Now you can also cook this in your Instapot or simply bake it till tender, just like seen here. Now creating another small well in my pan, I'm going to transfer my chuck right into it and then simply break it down to little chunks and remove any fat. Now you don't want to completely shred it, you still want it to be nice and chunky. Then pour in all that juice. If it so happens that the fat had developed at the top, feel free to skim that off before adding it in. Now for our cabbage, and by the way, for me, this is what ties the entire dish together. But if you prefer not to use cabbage, then once again, feel free to leave it out. Now, giving that a good stir, then putting my lid right over it, keeping my heat between medium low to medium, stirring occasionally till my cabbage is slightly tender. 
Then adding in my taco seasoning along with a fourth of a cup of water. And if you notice it is too dry, add an additional few tablespoons of water. At this point, you want your dish to have a little bit of liquid, just enough to barely coat the bottom of your pan. Now, adding in three cups of cooked white rice. Now you can also use brown rice or long grain rice, but here I'm using cow rose rice. The medium grain tends to absorb the juices while keeping that loose, fluffy texture. All right, now just put the lid on and continue to cook on low to medium low, stirring occasionally till your cabbage is fully tender, and then adding in a tablespoon and a half of butter. That'll add an additional flavor and help give your rice an even fluffier texture. And now for the taste test. To see what additional seasonings needs to be added, such as salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, or Tony's Creole seasoning, whatever you like. Now for me, it's just right. So I'm just going to top it with some fresh green onions to brighten it up a bit. And there we have it, my twisted taco jambalaya. And I can assure you, you're going to love it. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope you liked today's video. And I really hope you give it a try, and when you do, enjoy. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming food adventures with me, Charlene, from right here in my kitchen, where every day I'm cooking and eating food. With her, of course. Bye. Bye.